What's going on, guys? Johnny on the track back here with another video. Um, and before we get into Phoenix this weekend, just want to say, wow, that was absolute BS that we didn't get that win with Kyle Larson. He was my second favorite driver I put on the show last week. Um, we knew Byron was going to be fast. I mean, we knew it. I, I gave him the top five. He hit the top five. Um, I knew Larson would be fast. He was. He had that race. He had that race in the bag. And it hurts me to say, cause he's one of my favorite drivers, but Eric Almarola screwed us. Oh, it's so tough. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. That stuff happens. It's, it's going to happen this year when you're betting, you're going to lose on stuff like that. Um, that's just like how with three laps to go, does somebody spin out and we got to rely on overtime. Um, oh, it was terrible. Cause we had, what we had was the Larson win and the Byron top five, which is what, what I said we wanted. We want a winner in the top five. And um, I, I'm blanking on who our top 10 was, but I don't think it was going to hit. Um, oh, Ty Gibbs. Well, that was terrible. He qualified great. And of course, he just he made a lot of rookie mistakes. Um, but he had a fast car. I mean, he did. He just, it, it wasn't all there for him. Um, so it's going to take me a little bit a, a little bit to to bet back on a rookie again. That's for sure after seeing that performance. But um, yeah, that was tough. That was tough. Look, I like that it's early in the season that like crap like that is going to happen. I, I hope that it doesn't happen again. But man, you just never know. You just never know. And the same thing happened last year. I'm sure there were betters last year at that Vegas race that had either Truex or Bush battle it out for the win and of course eric jones spun last year at the same race um and it went to overtime and bowman ended up winning so hendrick was fast they were um again we we knew it was going to happen i just thought we could get the larson win and the byron top five and unfortunately we just ended up getting the byron top five and um didn't get the numbers we wanted but anywho on to phoenix um this this phoenix race this is the first race where you say to yourself, I say to you, there is value everywhere on the board this week. Uh, I, you know, I'm looking at the odds here. There is a ton of value to take, I would say, right now. As soon as you see this video um, and you listen to these picks, and, and you know, if you have anything as well, put it down now because the value for all these drivers is, is really, really good. Um, so I don't want to say like, so much in my head is is kind of fixated on value on the board, but it, it did a lot of my picks did have to do with kind of what I see um, from a value standpoint. So with that being said, um, let's go to uh, my number one, and he's actually the favorite this weekend, plus 800 on uh, DraftKings, plus 800 on uh, Barstool Sportsbook. His name is Joey Logano. He's the fastest on this, well, he was, I should say, the fastest on this style track last year. He's your most recent Phoenix winner. Um, he was just very, very good on short and flat tracks, plain and simple. Um, and honestly, if, if you look at Logano this year and really his whole career, right, he's been fast everywhere. So I, I like Logano coming off a bad, bad race for him. I think this is a great track for him to get a really good rebound and bounce back um, a track that again, he had success on last year. Um, that's how he won this championship. Yeah. Bad race, right? Wrecked out. He was one of the only cars to DNF, which by Logano standards, I, I can't imagine he likes that. Um, I think it's a uh, sort of a revenge race. I don't want to say like, you know, a, a revenge. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'm um, over exaggerating, but Again, um, you know, coming off a terrible race, I feel like Logano is going to have a little bit of a chip on his shoulder uh, to come and win at a track that favors him quite well. Um, so I really like Logano here, plus 800. I think to me, you have to have Logano on your card this week, especially with this style track. 
Um, he went into that championship race last season saying, we're going to be the fastest car and we're going to win the race. That's exactly what he did. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if he says the same thing this week again, especially after that terrible, terrible race that he had last week. Um, so Logano plus 800, good value. I feel like to get him at plus 800. I, I feel like that's a decent number. Um, my number two this week, believe it or not, is Alex Bowman and plus 2000. Like that is a really, really good number that you can get Bowman at. That's a $50 bet to win a thousand dollars. Um, plain and simple. And I said, I, I said this in the off season, but Blake Harris has been just monumental to that 48 team. He was a huge asset to Michael McDowell in the 34 team last year. Um, and you're seeing the results with Alex Bowman as Blake Harris, uh, Blake Harris has transitioned to be with Alex Bowman this season. They were fast at the clash. They were fast at Daytona. They were fast at auto club and they were fast at Las Vegas and really could have had a chance to win Las Vegas. Um, but man, I mean, that team is clicking on all cylinders and he's knocking on the doorstep. He is knocking on the doorstep and in, in his career, he's actually been pretty solid on the short, uh, shorter and flatter tracks. Um, it won at Martinsville. He's won at uh, Richmond. So this is a guy that can win on this style track. Um, wasn't the greatest team in car on these style tracks last year. He actually was better on the mile and a half. But with that being said, um, you know, that clash car was fast, which is a, a, a lot, you know, a very short track, but again, a shorter and flatter track. Um, so, We'll see. I mean, we'll, we'll see, but I really like Bowman here. I really like the number you can get him at. So plus 2000, I think is very fair. Um, Truex number three plus 1000. Um, another guy that really has, has had a pretty good start to the season. Um, and you know, he had a, he had a fast car at the clash. He was your clash winner. And, uh, I, I just look at that and I say, this is kind of, that's kind of the only data we have so far to help us here for, for this, for this track. Um, we can use, you know, that data and the data we have from last year. Truex was very good on the shorter, flatter tracks, i.e. New Hampshire. He was very good at New Hampshire, should have won that race. A um, couple other shorter, flatter tracks. He was in the top uh, five in, in overall speed. So, um, you know, if you go by the numbers, Truex is going to be good here. So um, don't overthink this. I think the number to get him at it at plus 1000 is good. Um, I would take, I would take uh, Truex plus 800 is my next bet with Ryan Blaney. I don't love it because I, I don't love what I've seen so far from Ryan Blaney. He's been up and down. He's had fast race cars and then he he's had issues um, really hasn't been able to string together a, a full race at all. Um, so I don't love this bet, but he was very, very fast at the two Phoenix races last year. Probably should have won the first Phoenix race. Um, and then if you look at these style tracks last year, he was the second fastest overall finishes finish runner up in the second, uh, in the championship Phoenix race. I, again, I don't love the, the, the bet, but I do expect Ford to bring some really, really good solid race cars to this track. And I just feel like. Um, it probably, it, it's not probably going to be a big bet on Blaney, probably like maybe a quarter, maybe, maybe a third unit on Blaney. Um, he would kind of be the guy that if, if I won with that, it would just probably win to, to make my money back. Um, I like those first three guys I named a little bit more, but I do think you have to have Blaney on your card this weekend. And then, um, I'm giving a fifth winner. I, I, I've been given fifth winners recently, and I don't like to give five winners because, um, I don't know. I, I usually like to give four winners. It feels better when you hit it, but the number here I think is a must to at least give a little something on. And that's Brad, Brad Keselowski plus 4,000 to win. Great number. I mean that like literally a great, great number. And I didn't love his clash car, um, at all. I mean, he was very, very bad at the, at the clash, but if you look back last season at this style track, that's where Keselowski was was good um, throughout most of the season. And then it took to, sort of the end for them to get faster on the intermediate style tracks. But, you know, New Hampshire, he had a good run. Um, you know, Phoenix, he had some both Phoenix races, right? He had some decent runs. Um, so, look, Brad Keselowski and RFK continue to make big, big strides. They're both right now in the playoffs. 
Um, and Brad Keselowski has a lot of points this year. So I like the strides I'm I'm seeing from Brad Keselowski. I just, I mean, if you want a big upset, it's it's this week with this driver at plus 4,000 to win. Um, so those are the five winners. Let's get into top fives and top tens. Um, top five, I don't have the numbers here. They haven't listed them on anything I can find yet. Um, but I assume you can get Harvick at plus money. Uh, for a top five, and you're definitely going to want to take them. Um, whatever the number is, I assume it'll be probably close to like minus 200 for a top 10. Um, we'll, we'll just go over the top 10 statistics really quick here. He hasn't finished outside of the top 10 since 2013 at this racetrack. Um, a first place, a first place, a first place, a first place, a second place, a first place, fourth, sixth, fifth, first, fifth, ninth, fifth, second, seventh, sixth, eighth, sixth, fifth. Um, it's just an, it's just an incredible run. And then you, you sprinkle in a 13th there, uh, in 2013 and then first second, um, again, it's just, it's just an incredible, incredible run at a track by a driver, um, hasn't. So he only two top fives in the last one, two, three, four, five, six races here, uh, three and seven actually. Um, but you know, so maybe it'll be a little bit of a stretch. Um, but I mean, I think it's, you know, to put a half unit down on a top five for Harvick, I think it's a good bet. You'll probably get it at plus money. And like I said, the top 10, you have to take no matter what it is, that should be your big bet. Um, maybe it's a two and a half unit bet. Yes. Yes. Two and a half units, something big, um, on that top 10, be just, just because like he is just so good on this racetrack, um, and to, to really, since 2013, not finish outside the top 10. It's it's just unbelievable. Um, so again, I think Ford's gonna have good, good race cars. So I think that'll help him out as well. And my two top tens, um let's start with Briscoe. Briscoe top 10. Um, it'll be close. I think you could probably get them at plus money. We look two, four, six, eight, ten. Um, tied for the 11th, 12th best odds I see here at plus 2000 to win. So I would say he's, he's going to be right around plus money to get a top 10. Um, he's your Phoenix winner in March. He finished fourth here at the championship race. That's an average finish of two and a half. He has been flat out awful this season. Let's just say it. Um, but with that being said, I do like the, I, I've said this multiple times throughout the off season. I do love the pairing of him and his crew chief, Johnny Klausmeyer. I think if there's a race for Briscoe to get back on track, it's here. I'm sure he has circled this track on his schedule um, since November. And, and, you know, when, when he couldn't uh, win that last championship race. So I would say, take it. I would say, take the plus money here. Um, you know, maybe it's not a huge bet, but I do think there's good value. And like I said, I do think you can get him. If not, no, I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say you can get him at plus money. We'll, we'll see. But um, I think it's going to be right around like a plus 120. And I feel like that's a decent bet to get a guy that had two really, really solid runs last year at this track. Um, and then I like a priest top 10. Again, I, I, I like Ford's. I've got Logano, Bowman, Kozlowski, Priest, Harvick, Briscoe. I like Ford in this spot. Um, if you look at that, that clash car, which I assume is probably the car that they'll use and adjust a little bit. Um, that car was bad fast. It was a really, really fast race car. Like I said, Ford, I expect to be good. I think if they just make a few adjustments on that clash car, um, or maybe, maybe who knows, maybe it's a different car, but I think they can use a lot of what they used at the clash with a few adjustments to, to make a really good car for priests. Um, he shines on, on these tracks, right? I mean, he, he's not a guy that's going to go out um, and, you know, run top five all day at an, at an intermediate track. It's going to be these shorter tracks where you can see a guy like Ryan Priest make some noise, knock on the door. We saw it at the Clash. We saw it at the Super Speedway at Daytona, right? He is a race car driver that flourishes better on these shorter tracks, um, you know, and, and tracks that aren't the cookie cutters, if you will. So Priest top 10. Um, that'll definitely be plus money. His odds to win are plus 4,000. So I, I assume that top 10 is going to be close to 250, maybe plus 250. 
Uh, maybe you can get it at plus 300. I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure. We'll have to see when those, uh, when those come out. But like I said, um, I, I like that bet. So real quick, we'll go through all these Joey Logano to win plus 800, uh, Bowman plus 2000 to win Truex plus a thousand to win Blaney plus 800 to win Keselowski plus 4,000 to win Harvick top five, top 10 priest, top 10 Briscoe top 10. As always, if you want to see my bets, um, and my uh, unit distribution, Johnny on the track at Action Network. For any additional bets that come after practice, after qualifying, Johnny on the track on Action Network. Um, if you're a first time watcher and you're enjoying um, and you want to get into betting, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, follow me on Twitter at J O T T underscore podcast to see all my motorsports tweets and content, as well as my bets. Um, and as always, like I say, I always want to know what you guys think, put what you are betting on this weekend in the comments, tough weekend last week, uh, with Vegas and losing that Larson bet, but I'm pretty confident. I like the numbers we can get on the board. Um, let's have a day. All right, let's do it. So thanks for watching as always. And like I said, um, make sure you like this video and subscribe for more content.